Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for being an awesome God. Not yesterday, not today, but forever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. Again, that Psalms 95. Okay, Bible scholars, is it in the New Testament? No. That was a trick question. And once you have it, please stand in respect for the word of God. Amen. Amen. And it reads as follows. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow yeah. down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Yeah. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the day of provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work, 40 years long was I grieved with this generation and said, it is a people that do her in their heart, and they have not known my ways. Verse 11, unto whom I swear to my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. I have read to you Psalms 95 in its entirety. Blessed be the word of God for the people of God. Most heavenly, most precious God, our Father. Again, we come before you, giving you honor, giving you glory, and giving you praise. Yes. Thanking you, Father, for this wonderful you, day that you have allowed us to see. We pray right now, Lord, that your presence continue to fill this place, Lord. That your power, Father, continue to regulate, Father God, our hearts and our minds. That we'll continue to do the things that you have called us to do. Father God, right now we lift up Pastor Jones, Father God, yes. in her absence, Lord. Yes. We pray, Father God, for travel and mercy. Yes. And we pray, Father God, that everything, Father God, is filled within her heart, Father God. Yes. We continue to lift up our deacons, our deaconettes, and every other member here at Macedonia Baptist Church. We pray that services go on, even yes. with, the, um, with the absence of our pastor on today, Father. We lift up, Father God. The speaker of the hour, Father God, yes. Reverend Dad. We thank you for this, Father God. And thank you, Father God, for the word that you've come to deliver unto us, Lord. Yes. We continue to give you honor, glory, and praise. We lift up all those, Father God, that are bereaved among us, Father God. Those that are sick and shut in and hospitals everywhere, we lift them up to you right now, Father. And Father, we just pray that this service, Father God, Continue to go on, Father God. We'll continue to give you honor, glory, and praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. All you love Jesus. You love him because he first loved him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, because you didn't have to do it. Because you did, we thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the opportunity to be in the temple one more time. Yes, yes Lord. Man. Yes, Lord. It's by your grace and our mercy that we're in here. Yes, sir. It's by your grace and your mercy that you've allowed our golden moments to grow long. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 Lord. We ask, Heavenly Father, that you be with uh, Pastor Jones and Grant her travel yes. 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 yes, thank you. Bring them back here safe, though. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord God, we lift up those in Kentucky that are devastated by the floods. So, Heavenly yes, Father, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. not just Kentucky, but all over the world, Heavenly yes, Father. Lord. Yes, Lord. We ask that you be with that people, oh, Lord. Yes. No, Heavenly Father, we pray for our grace and our mercy. Be with me, oh, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Uh, take what I uh, put down on paper, oh, Heavenly Father, and that I might be able to make a plan to your people. Yes, 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 yes Lord. And impression. Magnificent. In the mighty name of our Son, Christ Jesus, we do pray. 
Amen. 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 Trouble. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Come on. King Uzziah sought the Lord, mm-hmm. 
And he did that, the Bible says, which was right in the sight of the Lord. Yes, sir. And as long as he saw the Lord, God made him to prosper. Yes. Yes. So what does it mean to seek the Lord, Brother Jerry? To seek the Lord, how does one go about seeking the Lord? Well, if we were to ask the prophet Michael, what does it mean to seek the Lord? What, does it, what is it that the Lord require of us? I'm convinced that Michael would say, he has shown the old man what is it that the Lord requires. But to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. Yes, yes. If we were to ask the prophet Michael, I'm Amos, Amos, what does it mean to seek the Lord? I believe that Amos will tell us first, Jerry, you need to be in agreement with the Lord. Yes. After all, can two walk together except they be agreed? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And I believe that if we were to turn on the coat, Talk co tell of Paul. Paul would tell us, well, you, 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 need to, you need to ask the Lord the question, Lord, what would thou have for me to do? That's what it means to yes, the Lord. Yes. Wherever you find yourself in life, or whatever decision that you are faced with, learn to ask the Lord, Lord, what would thou have me to do? Then do it. I believe that that's what it means to seek the Lord. As King Uzziah sought the Lord, I want to bring out several points, or several things that I saw in the passage. First of all, there was obedience. Look at verse number four. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah did. The Lord God made Uzziah to reign for 52 years because he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. All right. When no one was looking, King Uzziah did that which was right. Mm -hmm. He understood that the Lord was looking, and he did that which was right. Yes, King right. understood that uh, what may have been right or okay in the eyes of the people may not be right, and oftentimes was not right in the eyes of the Lord. Yes, yeah. right. If you're going to do wrong, then do wrong and call it what it is. If you're going to do wrong, then call it right. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Prophet Isaiah said, Isaiah said, woe to them that call evil good and good evil. Yes, sir. They put darkness for light and light for darkness. Yes. They put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Uh -huh. Will it be some dark days, Master Don? Yes, sir. Yes. That wouldn't be so bad. If you called it what it was. Yeah. Preacher, you start telling them what thus says the Lord. Yes. They're gonna call you a talk. You start telling them that they can't leave, live that way and please the Lord, they're gonna call you old fashioned. You tell them there's a narrow way and a broad way on the call, they're gonna say that you're not progressive enough. Brother, if you start telling them that there's a right way and a wrong way, Somebody somewhere is going to say, who died and Amen. made you king? <laughs> Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Learn to walk yes, in his sir. way. Yes, sir. Make no mistake about it. Learn to seek the Lord. It's going to require some discipline. Yes, sir. Yes. It's going to require some discipline to open up the book. Yes, sir. And to see what thus says the Lord. Yes, sir. It requires discipline for you to sit down or shut down anything that will get in the way yes. of you having a closer walk mm. with the Lord. Amen. Yes, sir. Good. Don't think that you can embrace the ways of the world and the grace of the Lord at the same time. Oh, no. 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 Anybody that will be a friend of the world yes, sir. make themselves enemies yes, with God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. King Uzziah, he wasn't satisfied with just attending worship. He just didn't want to go to the temple and say a couple of amens and be on his way. He wanted to do what thus says the Lord. Yes. So not only was there obedience, but there were also guides. Uh -huh. oh. Look in verse number 5. And he sought the Lord God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding and visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. 
Yeah. And he saw the Lord God in the days of Zechariah. Yeah, got it. Look at when he saw the Lord. He sought the Lord in the days of Zechariah. Yes, I'm convinced that as long as Zechariah was around, Uncle Benny, as long as Zechariah was there to remind him that he was a king mm -hmm. and not the king. Yes, as long as Zechariah was around to remind King Uzziah, before you make a decision, Let's take a look in the book and uh -huh. see what thus says the Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. The good news is that there was someone there to remind the king there's another king that sits high and uh -huh. low. Yeah. There's another king who knows the end before yeah. the beginning. Yes, Let's go to that king and see what he has to say yes, about the matter. And I like the way the Good News Bible puts it. It says, as long as Zechariah, his religious advisor, was living, he served the Lord faithfully, and God blessed him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uzziah's success was due in part to the prophet who instructed Uzziah in the ways of the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we're no different, parents. Yes, sir. We do well to instruct our children yes. in the ways of the Lord. And then as ministers, the Bible says that we do well to put the brethren in remembrance yes, sir. Yes. concerning the things of the Lord Jesus. Yes, sir. Every church needs to Zechariah in their corner. Yes, sir. To remind God's people what thus says the Lord. Yes, sir. Someone who, who has the freedom to say that two wrongs don't get it right. Someone who will tell you to do the right thing anyway. You don't need somebody there uh, 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 to echo your sentiments. Come on, to say to you, well, you know, Brother Jerry, this is the way I see it. Yeah. Uh, but you need a Zachariah who will be in your corner and say, let's go to the book. Go to the book. <laughs> King Uzziah had that kind of person in Zachariah. In Macedonia, you had that kind of person in your past. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You come long enough to know. Yeah. She ain't going to tell you what you want to hear. Yeah. She's going to tell you like it is. Yeah. She's going to tell you what God says to Lord. Yes. She's going to tell you to write it down and let's go to your scripture. Yeah. She's going to tell you what God says to Lord. Yes. And as long as Uzziah heeded the voice of God by, way, by the way of the prophet, God made him to prosper. Saints, you can't go wrong when you heed the voice of the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 You can't go wrong when you heed the voice of the Lord. Amen. I know some of you will say, well, Brother Jerry, you don't know what they said about me. <laughs> you don't know what they did to me. Uh -huh. Did you hear what they said? All right. Roger, what they did to me set me back a little bit. Mm -hmm. I lost a whole lot of money on that. All right. No, I don't know what they said about you. And no, I don't know how much it set you back. Mm -hmm. But I know that you can't lose when you do business God's way. Right. You know, and King Uzziah's father, I had to find this out the hard way. In, in, in chapter number 25, if you back up one chapter, mm -hmm. yep. we're going to get King Uzziah's father, King Amaziah. Starting at verse number 6. And King Amaziah, he had hired 100,000 mighty men of battle out of Israel for 100 talents of silver. But there came a man of God to him, saying, O king, let not the army of Israel go with thee. For the Lord is not with Israel, to wit, with all the children of Israel. But if thou wilt go, do it. Be strong for the battle. God shall make thee fall before the enemy. For God hath power to help and to cast down. Yes, sir. Yes, he does. 
Then I'm going to start saying to the man of God, but what, what, what about all, what, what kind of shit am, what am I going to do about my hundred talents? Which I have given to the army of Israel. And the man of God is, the Lord is able to give me much more yes, sir. than this. Amen. Put your hand, Brother Terry. King Amaziah, he set out without seeking the Lord. He paid up front. I'm going to give you 100, ta 100 talents of silver to go to battle with him. He had already paid up in full. But then the man of God came to him and said, okay, you might not want to go. Because if you go, you don't know. Yes, sir. You will be slain before your enemy. The king of Messiah, well, what about my money? Don't worry about your money. God is able to give you much more than this. Amen. Yes. If you do right. Yes. Okay, we ain't talking about Amazon. We're talking about all. All right. Let it go. God is able to give you much more than this. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. Good what you're talking about is just chump chain. Come on. Yeah. 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 Let's talk about it. Yes, sir. God is able to replace all that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's gone. Yes, sir. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I don't know how much it was, but if you're doing business, God's way sometimes means that you have to cut your losses and move on. No. I don't know how bad they wronged you. But I do know that the book says to forgive Dr. Roger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. You don't have to turn that for me, words. You have heard that it been said. God shall love thy neighbor. Yes, sir. And hate thy enemy. Yes, sir. But I say unto you, love your enemy. Yes. Love thy Bless them. Bless them. That curse you. Yes, sir. Do good to them that hate you. Yes, right. That's right. Love your enemy. Yes, sir. And pray for them that despitefully the use you. Yes, sir. And persecute you. Yes, sir. And Jesus goes on and says, I know it's hard. For if you forgive me and their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. But if you forgive not me and not oh. us, neither will your heavenly Father forgive your trespasses. That's right. Yeah. Let, it go. Let it go. God is able to do much more than this. Yes, yes sir. Yes. There was obedience. Then there was guidance. And then there was blessings. It is right there in verse 25. And he sought the Lord God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding and visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. There were blessings. God made him to prosper. When King Uzziah sought the Lord, the Lord made him to prosper. Uh -huh. There was a direct correlation between Uzziah seeking the Lord and the Lord causing Uzziah to prosper. Yes. Now don't get me wrong, let me make it plain and clear now. There was, this wasn't a quid pro quo. Come on now. Come on now. Quid pro quo. Yes, sir. Whereas, if I do this, then you do that. Come on. It wasn't if I do this, then you are obligated to do that. Yes, sir. Well, like my daddy used to say, you scratch my back, uh -huh. I scratch your back. Uh -huh. Don't ever think that because you did this, that, or the other, uh -huh. that God owes you. The Lord owes no man anything of yes, right. but he has richly given us all things yes. to enjoy. Yes. Yes. Now, no, I'm not talking about a prosperity gospel. For the Lord will have everybody to be healthy and wealthy. Mm -hmm. you know? So what are you saying, Virgil? What I'm saying is that when we walk in righteousness, mm -hmm. blessings tend to fall. Yes. 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 Say it again. When we walk in righteousness, blessings 
tend to fall. The psalmist said, Blessed is the man that walketh not yeah. in the counsel of the ungodly, oh, yeah. nor standeth in the way of the sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Right. But his delight where is it? In the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate yeah. day and night. Yeah. Yes, day and night. Yes, and he shall be like a tree planted by the river of the Lord that bringeth forth his fruit when? His seed. Yes. And his leaf all shall shine out with why? Because he follows after the Lord. Yes. Yes. Follow after the Lord. Yes, sir. You know, like the way John puts it in Revelation. Blessed is the man that read it, and they that hear the word of his prophet. That's right. Uh -huh. And do it those things that are written therein. Yes. That's, right. yes. That's where the blessings come in. That's right. right. That's where the blessings come in. Seek the Lord, Macedonian. Yes. And tell those that are coming up behind you. I know many of our youth have left gone out. Tell them to seek the Lord. Yeah. We're good about giving good advice. Yeah. Come on, mm -hmm. Come on. But oftentimes, Aunt Eileen, we leave out the best advice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Encourage the young men and young women that are coming up behind you to seek the Lord. Yes, sir. Uncle Tommy, I remember some 30 or 40 years ago. My uncles would come, I would listen to them talk, and they say, you know, if I knew then what I know now, I'd have done some things differently. Yeah. If I knew then what I know now, I would have gone off to college and got a good education. If I knew then what I know now, I never would have dropped out of school. If I knew then what I knew now, baby, I, I would have bought me some land. Yeah, yes, sir. After all, God ain't making no more dirt. Amen. 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 And I worked with a fellow for years and said, you know, Jared? Well, he said, Brother Nash, if I, if I knew then what I know now, I would have bought me some stock in the Apple, uh -huh. IBM, uh -huh. Texas Instruments. Yes, sir. I bought me some stock in those companies. If I knew then what I know now. Mm -hmm. Of all the things that they wish they could have gone back and had a do over, mm -hmm. I don't recall any of them, I mean, mm -hmm. not my own, saying if I had to do all over again, I would have put my trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. If I could have gone back and done some things differently, yes, sir. I would have sought the Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah. Macedonia, blessings follow those who walk in the path of righteousness. Yes. 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 Young people, keep on seeking the Lord. Start by obeying your parents in the Lord. Yeah. King Uzziah sought the Lord, and the Lord made him to prosper. Yeah. The, the king's prosperity wasn't dependent upon what the king did, but it was dependent upon the Lord, mm -hmm. not the king's own craftiness. Mm -hmm. As the king walked in the path of righteousness, blessings just tended to follow behind him. Mm -hmm. Blessings followed. There was obedience. King Uzziah did what the Lord said do. Yeah. There was guidance. Yes, the king had somebody there to tell him what thus says the Lord. Mm -hmm. And there were blessings. Blessings follow the king as the king walked down the path of righteousness. Yes. Then, fourthly, there was liberty. There was freedom. Let's get to see. And I'm not going to read all the verses, but verses 6 through 15, the Bible lets us know some of the things that the king did. Come on now. Verse number 9, more, Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem and had the corner gate. And at the valley gate, and at the turn of the wall, and he fortified them. He built towers in the, in, in the desert, and he gave wells. The king gathered herds, he planted vineyards. The king did all sorts of things. Why? Wow. He had liberty. God gave him the liberty to do these things. And, and God wasn't against it. Look at the end of verse number 15. 
and, 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 and his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped to win. To win strong. While the king had liberty, in this life, God is going to allow you to the liberty or the freedom to pursue your dream, your passion, mm -hmm. your causes. The Lord allows you freedom to be whatever you want to be. Amen. Brother Amen. Deacon talked about it last week. Chase your dream. Uh -huh. You know, chase your passion. Mm -hmm. You want to be an orthopedic doctor? Chase your passion. You want to be a neurologist? Chase your dream. But don't let your freedom cause you mm. to transgress yes, against the word Come of God. Come on, yeah, God. Sir. Come on. Paul said all things are law, mm -hmm. but not all things are speedy. Okay. Uh, you hear the masses chanting, don't take my freedoms away. Yeah, yeah. My body, my choice. Uh -huh. yeah. But the Bible says, know you not that the Lord he is God? It is he that has made us, and now we are saved. Right. We are his people yeah. and the sheep yeah. of his family. Yeah. Amen. If you're going to do wrong, then do wrong and call it what it is. Yeah. There's nothing with having a strong military. The Bible says that Uzziah built up his military, and he fortified his territory. There's nothing with wrong with having a strong military. So long as you're dependent upon the Lord and not your military war machine yes, sir. to serve, to give you protection. Amen. 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 So let's say that again. <clears throat> having been a soldier myself, there's nothing that I'm wrong with having a strong military. Mm -hmm. So long as you're dependent upon the Lord for your protection and not your war machine. Oh, yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. The Bible said, uh, 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 Sister Dobbs read it last week, it said the Lord build a house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They lay me in vain to build. Wow. And except the Lord keep the city, yes, sir. the watchman waited, but in vain. Yes, yes. Sir. yes sir. Our protection is from the Lord. Yes, sir. And Joshua found this out in Joshua chapter 7. Come on now. The yes, Bible sir. says that he was prepared to go to war against the city of Ai. Uh -huh. But before he decided to go, he said, Let me send out some spies to spy out the land. Yes, sir. And he sent out spies to spy out the land of Ai. Tell the story. And as the spies went out, the Bible says, well, you know, it's only a couple of few men down there, they not Ai, uh, Joshua. We don't need to send the whole multitude of our army. Just send about two or three thousand. And that should get the job done. And Joshua said, well, very well. So they sent three thousand men down to Ai. But it wasn't long before Israel came right back to yeah. tell tail tucked between the legs. Yeah. Why? Because the Lord was with me. Was with me. Was with me. Ah, the Lord. <laughs> 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 Paul says, when I am weak, uh -huh. then am I strong. Uh -huh. 
What is he saying? When I'm weak, I'm dependent upon the Lord. Yes. Yes. And when yes. I'm dependent upon the Lord, yes. that's when I'm strong. Yes. Yes. That's yes. it. But the exact opposite is true. When you are strong, that's when you're weak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. King Uzziah did well because he received help from the Lord. Yes. How long? Until he was strong. Come on, come on. The king was doing well until he got to the point that he thought God's law was going to apply to him. Come on now, come on now. The ultimate height of pride, or policy of pride, is to know what thus says the Lord and to say without equivocation, I am not doing it. I believe that's what we are as a people. Come on now. We become too strong. Come on, come on. We become too proud. Yes, We're to the point to where we believe that God's word right. doesn't apply to us. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. The king had everything he wanted. He wanted. And there's a danger of having too much. Right. Come on now. When people tend to have all they want and yeah. more than they need, yeah. they tend to become self sufficient. Yes, they become strong. They feel they can go along without help from the Lord. Yes, sir. But don't you know that we can't take our next breath unless the Lord allows it. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Grandma and Grandpa was right about it. Mm -hmm. God would tell man to lay down and die. Mm -hmm. Man can't help but lay down and die. That's it. That's right. Should God tell man to get up and live again? Yes, sir. The same man We'll get up and live again. Yes, we become strong. Yes. We become self-sufficient. Yes. And when we, we become self-sufficient, it won't be long before we transgress against the Lord. Yeah. Verse number 16. There it is. But when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction. Mm -hmm. For he transgressed against the Lord his God. Yes, sir. And he went into the temple of the Lord to burn incense upon an altar of incense. He became strong. He became independent. He became self-sufficient. And it all led to pride. And it all led to rebellion against the Lord. The Bible says that it was the priest's responsibility That's it. or duties mm -hmm. to go into the temple yes. to burn incense. That's right. Only the descendants of Aaron mm -hmm. who were appointed to their duty. Mm -hmm. That's it. But the king got the big shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The bridges got big. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm king around here. Yes, sir. Right. And the Bible, do what I want. The Bible says, grab us some incense and went into the temple. Say, I'm king, I'm going to burn incense myself. I can sacrifice. I don't need y'all to sacrifice for me. I can do it myself. Yeah, that's right. Speak the Lord. The Bible says that the Azariah, the priest, grabbed up 80 valiant men, strong men, strong priests, prepared to thus or to throw. King out. Mm. Now, this is going to lead me, lead me to my final point. There was opportunity. Opportunity. What am I talking about? King Uzziah had an opportunity at this point to say, Oh Lord, I done messed up. <laughs> I done messed up. This was the opportunity. For the king to back out, to put that thing in reverse and get out of there. <laughs> I've done foolishly. Yes, sir. I've sinned against the temple and against the Lord. Mm -hmm. But he didn't do that. The Bible says that he got mad mm -hmm. at the priest. He got mad. Mm -hmm. And that's when the Lord stepped in. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that he smote the king with leprosy. Mm -hmm. Dread a deadly disease. Mm -hmm. God had to show him that the king would just 
AK. And now, DP. Yes, sir. Yes. God gave him the opportunity Go ahead. to back down. Come on, brother. To correct himself. Yes, sir. Yes. Opportunity. And I believe that God was extending his hand of mercy yes. to King Uzziah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you are or what you're doing, but if it's not in line with the word of God, uh -huh. it's time to back down. Yes, sir. And to cut out that foolishness. Yeah. 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 Instead of taking advantage of the opportunity to heed the voice of the priest, King Uzziah became wroth, and King Uzziah paid the price. Where are you? Amen. In your walk. Come on now. Are you transgressing? Come on. Against yeah. the Lord? Are you in a place where you know you ought not to be? Yeah. Are you doing things that you ought know that you ought not to be doing? Yeah. God affords us the opportunity to back down yeah. and to cut out the foolishness. Amen. The Bible says that God is so in anger. Yes, and he's plenty of in mercy. Yes. The Lord says that he's not slack as some man count slackness towards us, towards us. But as long as not now willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Amen. God is pleased in mercy. Yes, sir. The song says that you remember our friends. That we're made of dust. Yes. He yes. knows our faults. He's familiar with us. Mm. And he grants us the opportunity to get it right. Yes. To get it right. To back down. To cut out the illusions. Yes. And to walk in paths of righteousness. Yes. Yes. Don't pass up the opportunities that God gave you. If you think back, I know we, we've been around long enough to what we can know some that have gone on. We had the opportunity to back up and cut out that foolishness. Yeah. But they went on anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And God had to step in. Don't yeah. let him have to step in Come with on, you and correct you. Come mm -hmm. on, now. You got a pastor here that tells you what thus says the Lord. Yeah, yeah. You got a pastor here who's not afraid to call it like it is. Yes, yeah, sir. Listen to her by the way of the Lord. Yes, yes. And, and you'll be all right? Yes, sir. You'll be all right. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. And everything will be all right. Yeah. And I'll tell you, since I've learned to, and, and it's a day to walk. Yes, it is. But I've learned that as you walk the path of righteousness, blessings to you to follow. Yes, yes. sir. That's just what it is. That's how it works. That's the way it is. Walk the path of righteousness, blessings to you to follow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's, don't let's pray. Thank you, kind of heavenly Father, for your thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for your grace and your mercy. Surely you bestowed many of the blessings upon us, Lord God, and you've given us the opportunity, have the opportunity to back down and to cut out some of the foolishness that we're doing. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord God, because we know that you're long suffering to, uh, to us for pleas and mercy, O oh Heavenly Father that you remember our frames and that we are just the dust of heaven, Father. Yes. From the dust we came and to the dust we shall return. We thank you, Lord God, and we ask that we continue to bless and to keep only like you know how. Yes. Forgive us our sins for they are many and cleanse us from all unrighteousness and the precious in the name of my son, Christ Jesus, we do pray. Amen. Let us remain standing in the last one of the ministers to open the doors of the church. Amen. As Pastor Nash spoke to us on Second Chronicles, and he talked about how. King Isaiah was fine as long as he was trusting and depending on God. But when he got ahead of himself, got strong in his own life, he thought that was good enough for him to do what he wanted to. But I'm here to open the doors of the church and extend to you the opportunity to give your life to Christ. Yes. Because that's something that 
Reverend Nash was leading to in, when he was in 2 Chronicles. That we have to give it all to God. Because he is the only one that can continue to carry us farther and farther to where we can do the things that is pleasing unto him. But we can't do it if we have to accept him as our Lord and our Savior. So at this time, anyone that has not accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and wish to do so, you can come forth. Or if you've already done that, and you're, no, and you're not a member of any church, and you want to become a member here in Macedonia, now is also the time for you to come forward and become a member here in Macedonia.